So I'm going to look at speed matching two similar locos. Um, ideally you want to be going for the same class of loco with the same gearbox and the same um, decoder. Um, these two are slightly different, the gear ratios are just marginally different between the two. But I've at the moment set the decoder settings to the same, so maximum speed, mid speed and the acceleration and braking delay. I'll we'll start one running. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Right, let's start that one running. Go to the other one and start it running. Turn to the first, and I'll say we'll just slow it down a little bit. Yes, it would be much easier with two throttles so you could balance the throttles together. So, I've got them both up to maximum speed. And you can see that the second loco is closing ever so slightly. So I'll go to that loco Programming on main, CV5, which is the maximum speed, and I'm going to start dialing it back. So I've gone from 254 down to 251. Still catching up a little bit, let's keep winding it back a little bit until we balance it. A little bit more. Quite nice with the thumb wheel, you can just turn the value down slowly. Still catching up a little bit, so we'll do that there. I think that's quite good, it's maintaining a more or less constant distance between the two. So I'm going to escape out and leave that top value set. Start breaking the second loco and break down the first loco as well. Yeah, would be much easier with two throttles. <laughs> I'm going to do the same procedure with the mid speed, so I'll get it up to speed step 14. So select the first one. Oops, wrong direction. That doesn't help. Forward. Yep. Never fool myself doing this sort of thing. Right. So we'll get to the second loco in the stack and put it up to speed step 14 as well. What I'll do is just go back to the other one and slow it down a little bit so that we can catch up. Start building up speed again, up to 14. This sort of speed, it's quite hard to tell if one's gaining or not. I'll just drop the other loco a little bit closer using the throttle and then see if we can maintain a, a steady distance. So, this is at mid speed, is where your CV6 value is. And actually that looks pretty good. Just load the other one so that we can catch up. So that went really well. Um, the two locos started from a good point. They were both uh, very similar mechanisms. 
I think, yeah, I think we've achieved a decent speed matching. So I've coupled the two locos together. I'm going to assemble a double header on the handset. So I've selected the first loco, address 44 here. Go into the menu, select double header, and scroll around the stack until you find the other loco, which was 42. Click. Now they are combined on the handset as a double header. With the speeds matched, I can be confident that we're not going to be straining the couplings or anything. Talking about engineering, these two tricks locos are running around 360mm radius curves. So that's Pico radius 1. On this Roco tracks, it's their radius 2. So really impressive for these 210 chassis going around the tightest radius that is sort of recommended for them and they're also just such beautiful runners the, the gearing the motors are very high quality and they've got a lot of weight to them because they're both die cast bodies There you are, that's a, a relatively fuss-free way of uh, speed matching a pair of similar locos. You are going to have to take a little bit more time if you're going to match, say, a small tank loco with a large express loco. Um, they are going to have significantly different properties when they're driving, so take your time, set one up, and then start matching with the second one. Uh, you may have to adjust the first one so that it helps as well. So some locos, their top speed will be significantly lower than you expect. Some of the tank locos, you know, at the end of the day, they were operating at 20, 30 miles an hour maximum. A little bit of a thank you goes to Dr. Hobby, whose video I watched about speed matching and adapted to my own uses. Um, he used a, a, a very large double track setup and uh, played around with two locos parallel to each other. What I've done is just bring it down to a closed loop that most people like me could set up using set track on the table and speed match locos with and taking his suggestion as well to use two locos that are similar to start with. When I'm feeling stronger, I might try matching two completely different locos together.